So I want to talk something about something kind of, kind of important, and it's something that I've hit on before, and that's the importance of being nice, being kind, um, not being selfish or uh, rude to other people. Um, you could even call it "don't be a dick." Uh, if you saw the Instagram story that I posted earlier, you'll you'll kind of know what's about to happen here. So that guy right there was just a complete dick to the lady at Win Dixie. I'm just straight up a dick about uh, not wanting to go to customer service to get his dollar and ten cent because something rang up. Like his item rang up a dollar ten cents more than what he saw it on the. Uh, shelf for and he was complaining because his three dogs were tied up outside because he couldn't bring them in the store that's why he didn't want to wait well the story here is just like Vince Diesel said in triple X don't be a dick dick I and mean, it's just wrong it wasn't her fault and yet he was saying it was it's not cool don't be that guy but I was at the grocery store earlier this evening picking up some things for my wife because she's not feeling too well today so I went and got some soup and some things and it's a quick quick trip so I get to the counter or to the, the register um, and I'm waiting to check out. It's myself and an uh, older white lady and this guy checking out. And the guy's on his phone, first off. Don't ever be on your phone in a checkout line. That's just rude. Um, you know, or at least put it on mute and actually have a conversation with people. You know, if you can't get off the phone, whatever. So he's on the phone. And then he notices when she finishes his transaction that uh, something didn't ring up correctly. So at this point, he decides to demand his money and that she fix the issue right then and there. She very calmly states, well, if you walk over to the customer service desk right over there, then they'll, they'll bring it up correctly and give you back your uh, money and I apologize. And then he proceeded to go on and berate her for a few minutes. Um, as as this was going on, I started to clue in because I was on my phone reading an email waiting for my turn. Um, to the tune of, I can't go wait in the line over there because my dogs are outside waiting on me and I must leave. And it wasn't my mistake, it was your mistake, so you'll fix it. And I give this I give this girl credit. She did not bat an eye. She well, she batted her eyes, but did not react in how most people would, and that's reach across the counter and slap the ever loving out of him. Instead, she calmly kept asserting to him that she, there was nothing she could do, that he should walk over to customer service. She was not allowed to do a refund there at the cash register. He kept going, so finally, in the sake of appeasing this guy who feels that he is more important than anybody else, she hits a no sale, takes a dollar ten out of the cash register, which she will be short at, uh, at the end of the night, and hands it to him and says, You have a wonderful evening, sir. Thanks for coming. To this point, he gets back on his phone, walks back out the door, and he has his three small dogs tied up to the bike rack outside, who apparently were waiting on him to buy the couple of items that he needed. Why he had to bring his dogs and walk to the grocery store, I'm not sure, but clearly he was having a bad day. Then, at this point, everybody around us are now laughing um, because the girl's like, immediately goes into the not today, not today, oh, not today stance, and apparently... In her eyes, the dollar ten that she would be short later and have to pay to the grocery store was worth it to get this guy out of the store. So I end all of that with saying, please be kind, be a nice person, don't be a dick. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I did the story first this time, and, and now the video part. Um, but that's just the way it worked today. I've actually been editing this entire evening, uh, since I got home from work on a project that I can't show you anything from, but it will be dropping soon as in possibly this weekend. So I'm trying to rush through the edit. So unfortunately you're not going to be able to see anything on this one, but I'll tell you that it is definitely tasty and oh, oh, so delicious. So stay tuned and I will show you stuff when I can, but Thanks again for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. 
and hopefully with some of this tasty, tasty footage. Good night, guys.